Super Bowl weekend, Best Buy walkthrough, up next. Hey, what's up guys, I'm Brian, this is Tech Therapy. Thank you so much for watching. Super Bowl Sunday, Super Bowl week, the industry tells us this is still the best time to buy. I'm here to show you the individual models that are in store only and the prices that they're listed as this week as Super Bowl approaches. I did a video last week on patience isn't a virtue as there are a few models you might want to hesitate on as the new models in the next few months have massive upgrades. Check out that video for those details. This video will show you the individual prices of the models that are in store. As for ones that are on the website, you guys can check those out on your own. I've been doing Best Buy videos for about seven years now. You guys seem to like them. I love doing them for you. Without further ado, Let's go in. Thank you so much for watching. All right, guys, let's start it off with TCL. Looking at the Q7 and the Q6. Only the QM8 was a mini LED last year. Q7 is excellent. Next year's Q7 will be mini LED. You may want to wait for that one, but the Q7, excellent TV from last year and a excellent price right now. I'll also be showing you the various sound bars that accompany each system. Recommend if you buy a new TV, try and stay within the ecosystem in regards to the surround sound or the sound bars that accompany that specific manufacturer. Now looking at the flagship QM8, the QM8 is seeing an increase next year in both peak brightness and zone count. It will still be mini LED, won't be quite the jump that you're going to see with the Q7. QM8 is probably the most vibrant and brightest value TV that's also high end. QM8 highly recommended. Sony is up next, X90L. X77K, X80, and the A80L. At the X80 and the X77, you're looking more at value and size. You will uh, suffer local dimming, will dissipate at that tier. I recommend going from the X90 and up. A80L is on top, it's a WRGB OLED. It's my personal TV. With X90L, you start with the XR Clear, which is coveted this year for upscaling low bitrate content. XR Clear is a must if you are a Sony fan. Below the X90 line, you're looking at more value and size. Again, checking out the sound bars that are here. I also recommend the HTA9 system. Now, all these TVs can also be purchased from our dear friends at Value Electronics. All the sales you see here will pretty much be available anywhere as they have to file the manufacturer's roadmap. Sony, excellent lineup this year. We'll also see the X90L, A95L in the next room or in the former Magnolia room. Can't wait to see what Sony brings next year. LG is up next. LG C3, LG G3. I should have mentioned when I talked about Sony that the X95, which isn't in store, the replacement for that TV will be a massive upgrade. Same here with the G3. G3 is amazing MLA technology. The G4 will be a big jump with a new processor and a much brighter panel. That said, the G3 was the brightest OLED and so far the brightest OLED ever. Still has that title until the new releases come out the g4 will replace it and will be much brighter again that said the g3 is phenomenal i don't see the prices getting lower than this until the new models release looking here at the qned love the qned lineup or at least the potential that it had um, I hard for me to recommend the qned as the it is a carryover from last year the new models will be uh, totally new not carried over and you will see an ak model we saw that at CES and the QNED looked fantastic. So here they are, 
bargain prices, pick them up if you need them, but I would truly wait for the next QNED or QNED. Again, it's a carryover from 2022. The new ones from 2024 will be brand new, brand new everything, and they look very good. Again, G3, phenomenal. Highly recommended, especially if you're looking to buy now. And pretty much in this video, I'm talking to anybody that's ready to buy right now as we check out the QN90C randomly here in the corner. But again, they have the Super Bowl lineup nice and neat. Now looking at the S90C, we're going to circle back to that in a moment. We're going to start glancing at Samsung's Neo QLED line. Showing you the prices and the sound bars here is there is a movie demo up, but I will pan up to the demo material once we get past it. 900C was excellent. 900D 8K will be much better with a new AI upscaler that this TV does not have. It has a new processor. That new processor will be on the 8K TV alone. It will not be on the 4K TVs. So you might want to wait for the 900D as the 900C and 800C are still rather expensive, but they are fantastic looking. 800C right there. 900C in the middle. Also looking at the fantastic s95c that tv is also a must buy as la or next year's s95d will have a matte finish which you either will or will not like but if you want a glossy s95c love the q80c by the way if you want the s95c glossy qd oled grab it right now love the s95c I do think it's a good jump over the S90C, which to me is also the most recommended. And speak of the devil, here is the S90C, also soundbar, but they have these in the back again, lined up nice and neat. But the S90C, probably the best value and best high-end value of the year last year. Again, having all these TVs nice and lined up so you guys can see the prices nice and clearly. Years past, it's been a little messy. Jim and the crew from Best Buy had it nice and neat. We are in the former Magnolia section of the store. Now for you frame fans, here we go. Probably the worst demo for the frame um, illustrating its contrast ratio, but it is a very popular TV. And uh, there it is in all its glory. One of Samsung's biggest sellers. And that's not a good demo for it. There are two models there. X85. And above it, we have an A90K. These are kind of random to have here in the corner. Kind of highlighting how much expensive, more expensive a smaller OLED is compared to a larger LED. They do that on purpose, by the way. So this whole area used to be dedicated, oops, sorry about there, and they have another Q80C. Great value for the Q80 and the Q85. Massive TVs, nice low price. Now this price is not gonna reflect the big TV here. I imagine that's for the TV above it, being that it's 55 inches. The bottom TV was not labeled. Chances are it's another Q85 or Q80. Looking over at the Sony A95L QD OLED Master Series, last year's best TV in my opinion, probably one of the best TVs this year. I do not see a replacement for the A95L until at least the end of the year, October, November, if it comes at all. Still very expensive, but to me worth every penny. Better reflection handling, better sound, more sturdy chassis, much better built. That's what you're paying for, and you're also paying for XR Clear on a QD OLED. Nothing out there can touch it. Here we are looking at the X90L again. And one of my favorite TVs from last year above it is the X93. 
X93 is an improved X95. It is lacking XR clear, which gives it a disadvantage, but it's one of the best mini LEDs last year. This will be a great bargain as the year moves on. Here we are looking at the C3. Again, different sizes. That was a sound bar. Again, I like how they have these lined up nice and neat. Jim and the guys at Best Buy did a great job at my local Best Buy. Lastly, in the quality section, we're going to look at Hisense, one of my favorite brands from last year. Their kiosk only has the U8K, but I recommend the U7 and the U6 from this year. I credit both Hisense and TCL for having more store presence. TCL has more in this store, but I've seen several stores where Hisense has more. I'm glad these have become mainstream brands for us to really check out. That way we can come in, we can compare them and see them. It shows their commitment in both sound and their displays. Let's run through Samsung S90C. Samsung without fail has the most robust lineup. The S90C is the best value in the store. The 77 inches are all but gone, but the S90C snuck up to everybody. No dropouts, no one connect box, very reliable. Now we're gonna run through the entire QLED lineup. Really don't recommend many under the Q80 or Q85, as for me, quality drops quite a bit underneath that tier with the 60 and the 70. Try and stay within the 80 and 85 for the QLEDs. All of these are safe to buy. I don't see a big jump for the QLEDs next year, considering they're not gonna have the new processor. I think you'll see more of the same. Prices are very good. Um, I'm not sure I recommend them again below the 80 and 85. I only say that because the 80 and 85 are such high value and you get so much for it. When you start dropping below that, you might as well pick up a TCL or a Hisense flagship. I'll show you these Insignia Fire TVs. I don't really recommend them at all. Um, I haven't reviewed them, but I'll show you them anyway. There are quite a few of them. That's the layout of the store and a lot of these LGs. I've never reviewed these either, but I'll show them to you. They're there. I did miss one of the 900C AK TVs. Again, I wanted to highlight pretty expensive nowadays for a 75 inch. And there's the Magnolia area right there. Now off in the corner, there was an X80K from last year. There's the G3. So if you X85K just kind of hanging new for 2022, just there in the corner. So if you are in these stores, look in every corner, you might find yourself a little something. But again, the store was very neat. I also really don't recommend any open box if you can help it, unless you can get a very full extended warranty. And there's the 60C there. Now, as I was getting the relieve, I did come over and was surprised to see a TCL here and an LG. So you have the QNED up top, but a TCL S4, which I don't think I've ever seen in store before, but there it is. Love to see that. S5 is also gonna be a very big jump this year with many sizes, I believe starting at 48. And here we have Samsung's other very popular TV, the CU8000, very popular model. And the Q70C. I like that they have these side by side because the CU is a very popular model. See a lot of those in Costco and BJ's and Sam's Club. I really don't recommend them, but people love them. You can see how dim it is there. And lastly, checking out Pioneer. Um, it does break my heart to see that beautiful Pioneer name on such a cheap, I don't know, um, value TV, let's just say that. I love the Pioneer Elites. And look at Vizio, Vizio in Best Buy here with their soundbars. Their soundbars are excellent. Anyway, I wanna finish up with the S24 Ultra because it does have a different screen this year. 
And while it's not the same screen as the S95D, it does have more of a matte quality to it. And I'll say, while I don't love it on the S95D, I don't mind it at all on the S24, simply because glare resistance on a phone is very important being outdoors. I don't watch my QD OLEDs outside. I figured I'd show it to you. I don't think it looks terrible. Then again, for me, phones are more functional for watching. Glare is more important outside and reading. All right, guys, I'm Brian. This is Tech Therapy. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider liking and subscribing. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you in the comments. Love you guys. Take care.